So um, it all started when I joined the company that I am at now, which is Marley Spoon. Uh, when I joined, I'm part of the logistics team. So we have a lot of connections with dif different shippers via APIs, via tons of different ways. So when you have like this amount of like requests and so on, you need to have a structure to have good tests and not make real requests all the time. So I noticed that the tool that they were using for it was VCR. And what happened to me was that the first time that I went to work with this, I read the documentation and I got even more lost. So I felt that it would be nice to summarize what I learned while I was in this development phase. And those are the thoughts I recollected during this time. So that's why I have the article and I'm doing this talk mostly. So as you can see, I have a small summary. So I have the name true. I have what is a mock test. So this is not about mocking tests, it's about VCR, but I will just give an intro for the people that don't know very well what is a mock test, what is VCR, how to use it. And here, bear with me, with patience, I will try to show how it works live. <laughs> and after that, I will give some examples in real life, some tips and tricks, and I will leave my references. So what is a mock test? Mocking means creating a fake version of external or internal service that can stand in for the real one, helping your tests run more quickly and more reliably. When your implementation interacts with an object property, uh, rather than its function or behavior, a mock can be used. So, when you have a lot of like API, external API requests, for example, for many shippers, you can put like a fake under it to make it run quicker. And sometimes you even have like a rate limit. So this is a way that you can make them run faster and you can like, you don't need to make like reach the top of uh, the rate limit you might have with some APIs. So what is VCR itself? This here is the suit, is a test suit that recreates HTTP interactions and replay them during, some, uh, during the future tests. So you can run them faster, deterministic way and accurate without making a real request all the time. So you have a cassette file that does that for you. So how to use VCR? Um, one thing that I liked in their documentation while I was studying is that they have a very simple example there, and I will try to reproduce with you so I can explain it better. Um, whenever you want to test a part of code that requires this external um, request, you, you use the method called use cassette, and you state that you want to use VCR to deal with this with a cassette file. Um, if there is the, then it, how can I explain that? Let me think. If there is no fixture, because VCR creates a fixture for you automatically, uh, VCR will create one and leave it for future reference. So this is how the simple example looks like. So here you have the VC, some small VCR configuration you will say that you want it to be in, under the fixtures VCR cassettes folder and you want to hook into as webmock. So webmock is another gem for mocking. And when you want to test it, you use use cassette and the name of this cassette is synopsis and you will basically mock this request. Easy as that. Right. And then what VCR does for you in the first run uh, is create for you this file, which is synopsis.yml. So when you run the first time, it creates the file. And then after that, it starts using this file. There are some other sprinkles on it, but the default behavior is like that. So now I will try to show it live. 
So here I have my VCR test, very simple, uh, is doing a request to ina.arg and will generate this kind of file. It has a lot of things going on, but that is just the way it is. So for example, now, if I delete this file, or if I delete the whole folder, I can come here and run. Ruby, because this is a, a uh, unit test, it's, just in the, it's not our spec, it's not anything. So you can just do your test and boom, generates the file for you again. So that was the part that was tricky for me to understand. It, it took me some time to like figure out that they uh, created the test, like the, the fixture by itself. So this is one thing that I learned. And basically what I wanted to share after reading their documentation again and again. Right. Examples in real life. So I wanted to grab something bigger so we can see how it goes in a bigger project. And I selected, I will skip again, uh, the elastic search, um, the elastic site search, the Ruby version. And here for the site search, they have some VCRs for the engine search and the pagination for it. So as we can see, like VCR is being used many times for other companies. And I just didn't know that before. So I was missing as well. Oh, I, I wanted to show the, the cassettes. I forgot, <laughs> but it is on my, um, on the article for later reference. So the tips and tricks that I have are that you can uh, filter sensitive data by default. It's just an option you can add to uh, the VCR configuration and it prevents from writing it to the cassette file. So it's there, it's easy to use. Uh, if you want to continue making real requests, there is also options. Like there is the default one, which creates once and then uses forever but you have new episodes, no one all, and record an error. So very um, flexible, I'd say. Right, so here in the reference, what I like to highlight is that I have, there is this article, which is 10 tips to help using the CRGM. And it's really nice. It helped me a lot while I was learning about it. And 